Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our science session. So in our today's science session we are discussing about light shadow and reflection and from this session today we are going to discuss about light traversing in straight line. Okay. So let's see what is meant by the light traversing in straight line. So if you have all the torch in the dark room then you can see that that light which is coming out from the top torch it travels in a straight line like this you can see in the image okay so it can travel in a straight line okay or the light rays are always travels in a straight line and that property of the light rays are called as what light travels in a straight line which is also called as what rectilinear propagation okay let's see the definition of the rectilinear propagation the property of light by which it travels in a straight line okay what do you mean by the property of light by which it travels in a straight line is called rectilinear propagation okay this word is called rectilinear propagation of light so the property of the light which travels in a straight manner the light is always travels in a straight manner and that property of the light is called as what rectilinear propagation of light okay so to understand the rectilinear propagation, we are having one activity. So let's see that activity. Okay. So first we have to see this activity properly. So let's see the activity. Materials required. First, light source. Second, a tube. Let's start. As we know. We have taken a burning candle and tube already ready with us. So we are trying to see the light from a tube. Yes, we can see the light properly. Let us try by the bending tube and see the light. It is visible to us? No, it is not visible to us. So that shows light travels in a straight line. So just now we have discussed about the rectilinear propagation of the light. Okay, but this rectilinear propagation of the light can be represented by a ray or beam. Can be represented what ray or beam? So let us discuss what is meant by ray and what is meant by beam. So ray, it is a line without an arrow. The arrow shows the direction. Okay, ray means what? It is a line with an arrow. Means it is a line which what arrow and this arrow tells us what this arrow shows us the direction. So this is what ray shows the direction in which the light is traveled. So with the help of this arrow, we can come to know exactly in which direction the light is traveling. Okay, so now I have drawn that like this. So it means what the light is traveling from here to here. So the next one we discuss about the beam. What is by the beam? The a collection of rays is called a beam or light. Okay. What is by the beam? A collection of rays is called a beam or light. Means what? If so many rays comes together, then it forms what? Beam. Okay. So many rays comes together, then it forms what? A beam. So that rays or that beams may be parallel, parallel or may not be parallel. Or also we can say that if the if there is a point sources of light, if there is a point source of light, then these all the rays may be spread out. Okay, here you can see that the, all the rays get spread out that we are calling as what? Diver. Okay, that all the rays are getting diverged. Okay, so in this way what? These are the arrows. They may be parallel or they may not be parallel and if the light source is a single point then all the light rays can be spread or can get diverged. Okay? So this is what rectilinear propagation of light. Now we will see that the next one or this rectilinear propagation gives us a very interesting phenomenon that is what shadow. It helps to form the different shadows. Now let's see what is meant by the shadow. A shadow is a dark patch. That is what shade. Okay. What is meant by the shadow? A shadow is a dark patch or shade. You can say that form behind an opaque object. What is meant by opaque object? We have seen in our previous video the object which doesn't allow the light to pass through them. That objects are called as what opaque object. So what is the definition for the shadow? A shadow is a dark patch form. Behind an opaque object, where it forms behind. 
line and by object when it blocks the path of light coming from any source of the light. Okay. So how the shadow form? The shadow is a dark. What is it that the shadow? Shadow is a dark patch. How it forms? It forms behind an opaque object. Okay. So now see here I am having this book. I am having this book. This book is what opaque object. Okay. So now I will hold this book and the light which is passing up from this direction, then here it will obstruct or here it will get stop or in the path of the light will get block the path of the light coming from the any source of the light. Okay. So it is the dark shape which is formed behind the opaque object when it forms behind the opaque object when the block the path of the light coming from any source of the light. Okay. So now here you cannot see, but you can see in the image how exactly the shadow form. Okay, see now the image, how I observe it properly, how exactly the image is formed. Okay, so to form the shadow, we need certain things, or well, there are the certain conditions which are essential to form a shadow. Formation of shadows. We know that light travels in a straight line. If an object blocks, stops the path of the light. Shadows are formed. Shadow is the dark patch that an object forms when it blocks the path of light falling on it. For a shadow to be formed, three things are essential: a source of light, an opaque object, a surface on which the shadow is formed. Screen. If the source of light is in front of the object. Its shadow will be formed behind it. If the source of light is behind the object, its shadow will be formed in front of it. So, from this activity, what we have discussed, or what we have proved that, so to form a shadow, we need certain substances. So, there are the certain conditions are there which are essential to form a shadow, and which are that conditions? We can say that a source of light, an opaque object, and opaque screen. All these are the three. Essential condition to form a shadow. Okay, so this is all about today. Today we have discussed about the propagation of light, or we can say rectilinear propagation of light, and also we have discussed about the shadow and conditions which are essential to form a shadow. Okay, so this is all about today. Today we will stop here. We meet in the next video with the next point. And for today, thank you.